It's the co meet event and a late addition to this fight card. I mean, this this one kind of came out of thin air, but it's Ovince St. Prue, aka Ovince Von Flu, taking on Alonzo Menafield. OSP is making his 22nd UFC appearance. He's 24 and 14 overall, 20, uh, 12 and 11 in the UFC. My beef with OSP is I don't know which version I'm going to get. Are we going to get the aggressive finisher that we saw submit Michelle Olegzaychuk, submit Tyson Pedro, knocked out Corey Anderson? Or are we going to get the OSP we just most recently saw a couple weeks ago against Ben Rothwell? I, I realized that fight was at heavyweight, but OSP looked sluggish throughout and ultimately dropped a split decision. He's fighting Alonzo Menafield, who, until his most recent appearance against Devin the Brown Bear Clark, had been knocking everyone out. I mean, he was finishing dudes and finishing them early. But in this most recent fight against uh, Brown Bear Clark, Brown Bear took him down, held him there at will, beat the crap out of him, and Menafield really gassed out early and showcased that while he's super dangerous in those early minutes, if the fight continues to go on longer and longer, you wonder if his skills start to deteriorate. So how do you see this co event going? Do you think Menafield's going to gas out against the grizzled vet OSP? Who do you see uh, getting the rebound victory in this one, me boy? Yeah, uh, great question. I am going to go with OSP. I am banking off that he is dropping back down to light heavyweight, so he won't be as sluggish as he looked last fight. And I, I'm really hoping to see another head arm choke, a.k.a. the OSP choke. Uh, I think he's going to get it done. I don't think Alonzo is ready for his level of wrestling and jiu-jitsu uh he if you know Alonzo's a strong guy he can he can you know take out anyone but he's got about a one round to last fight it kind of showed that he does gas the later the rounds go so the later it goes it does seem that it's going to favor osp so that's why i'm kind of go with him you know he's a vet he can handle some hits so i i think he will get it done yeah fair enough i mean at this point, I feel like it's just disrespectful to even call that choke of his a Von Flu choke. I mean, it's just a St. Prue choke at this point. I mean, he has, what, five, six finishes by Von Flu in addition to just a wide arsenal of submission attacks that he has down there. Um, former college football player, we know he's a super strong guy. I uh, used to uh, play football over at Tennessee. And I, I, I understand your point with the, you know, the, the strength advantage and the grappling advantage for sure. Um, but for some reason, I feel that Menafield's going to make those adjustments that he struggled with in that last fight. Um, I think that it's going to be one of those fights for Menafield where he realized that against the upper echelon guys of this division, if he doesn't knock them out with a YOLO meat bomb in the very beginning, he needs to have some skills to fall back on, and he non-negotiable needs a gas tank to fall back on. So I got to imagine that he's addressed those cardio issues that he was confronted with in that last go-around. So I'm expecting a better Alonzo Menafield in this fight, and that's why I'm going with Menafield. Um, if we look over at the topology, it says, let's see, 63% are going with you. Uh, they think uh, Ovin St. Prue is going to get the job done. A majority of them favoring a submission. Um, the majority of the 37% who thinks Menafield will get the job done think he's going to get it by KO or TKO. I'm with them. I think he's going to get a stoppage finish um, KO or TKO in those first two rounds. How do you think OSP gets the job done? And what are your last thoughts on this one? Yeah, I think OSP yeah. is going to get him with a meat choke, a.k.a. the OSP choke. I think he's going to get done third round. Um, I think Alonzo is going to be gassed, grinded out, and just ready to tap. That's how OSP is going to get it done, meat boys. Um, but yeah, hit that subscribe, like button, and share. Put the bell notification on so you don't miss our next main event video. But yeah, other than that, meaties, uh, stay tuned.